If you're new to spirit communication, whether you want to connect with a deceased loved one or develop a more intimate working relationship with your spirit guides, this is the most important thing that I can share with you. This is what I wish I would have known when I began my journey. As you're going around out there, reading all the books, taking courses, doing your research, studying, doing all the things that we do when we're trying to learn something new, it's important for you to understand that all of it is just spiritual theory unless you can create an experience with the information you're learning about. What I'm really trying to say is don't blindly believe something just because you read it in a book or you heard it on some social media app by somebody that has millions of followers. Don't blindly accept their truth as your truth. Now, you should be taking a little bit of something from everyone and experimenting with it and playing with it and trying to create an experience with it. If you are unable to create an experience with the information, then it's just not for you. Let it go and look for something new. When you take this approach and you only adopt something as truth once you've validated it through personal experience, you're gonna save yourself so much heartache because you're gonna be able to stay away from bad information. You're gonna stay away from a lot of the misconceptions and misinformation that's out there around spirit communication that prevents so many people from connecting with their loved ones. I work with people every day that have this misconception of what it's like to experience their loved one. And as soon as we clear up some of those beliefs, boom, what they realize is that they've been experiencing their loved one this entire time. They just haven't realized it because they were expecting something else. And look, I want to be clear. This goes for me too. I don't want anybody blindly following me either. You should be taking my information and experimenting with it also. Spirit communication shouldn't be about some sort of dogma or rigid belief system. It should empower you to be able to discover your own truth, not adopt the truth of others. My mission and intent with every single piece of content that I put out is to empower you to discover your own truth, not to give you all of the answers. If that sounds good to you, then give me a follow.